one snap, get him three this week or four or five with Keyshawn? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's an explosive playmaker. You get the ball in his hands. You've seen it on kickoffs and all that stuff. So anytime we can figure out a way to get him the ball, I think would help our offense for sure. What the heck clicked yesterday? I mean, it was a real struggle for three quarters, and then all of a sudden, you guys couldn't be stopped. Like, what time did it change? Well, uh, it seemed like we were shooting ourselves in the foot a lot, um, obviously with penalties and things like that. So it's pretty hard to execute consistently when that happens. Um, and then the one thing, you know, it was just a good look in everyone's eyes. They, they stuck with it. They stayed together. Uh, so that was a pretty, pretty special moment for our team. Uh, just coming back like that. Still, what's it like to coach a bunch of rookies? I mean, you got Wicks, Reed, Musgrave, you know, all playing on offense and playing fairly big roles. What's it like yeah. to coach those guys? You got to keep it as simple as you can. Um, the one thing about those guys, though, is there's no quitting them. Um, they don't have a lot of scars, you know what I mean? So they just had a good look on them the whole game, which was really cool to see. Um, like, no matter what the score was, they just went out there and tried to do their job and played for each other. So I think the biggest thing is just keeping it as simple as you can, but then allowing them to be able to, uh, you know, do what they do and, and get them the ball. Um, so it's it, it was fun to watch those guys go out there and compete. Everything's new when there's a bunch of rookies, yeah. first time starting quarterback. Uh, it's probably yesterday's emotional high. It's probably new for even guys who aren't rookies to be in, yeah. in that kind of That's game. Awesome. And you got the short week. It's a little different coming off. And it's great coming off a win, but coming off that emotional high, flushing it. What do you say to the young guys? Like, yeah, you tell them. Yeah, and Matt kind of said it afterwards. He's like, enjoy it, you know, for the night. But then you got to put it away because we got a quick turnaround uh, with the Lions. And the biggest thing for these young guys when you play these short weeks. Is just to learn how to get their bodies back to feel as good as they can for Thursday night. Um, so you just really have to emphasize, you know, getting in the cold tubs, hot tubs, treatment, all that stuff to make sure by you know four days from then you're you're feeling good to go play a football game. Instead of going back to Rob's question, um, is there a value in these guys not knowing what they don't know? You had that comment about scars, like veteran players know that you're not supposed to win when you're down 17. Not yeah, more no, it's I mean, fourth quarter. Yeah, there is something to that where it's just these guys are just hungry and they're going out to make a name for themselves and just make a name for the new group that we have. So um, there is something to that. Uh, yeah. How do you think the uh, left side of the line held up yesterday? Uh, there was a few mistakes. Um, you know, we had uh, a few. But I thought the one thing about those guys is they compete. I thought in pass protection, our offensive line did a really good job against that front, uh, which I was pretty proud to watch those guys do that. Uh, but we still got a little ways to go in the run game, um, just with our physicality and, and all that stuff. But I think we'll get there. About that, it wasn't long ago that the idea of AJ having fewer than three yards to carry on average just was not going to be unheard of. What's what's the issue? Is it aiming points? Is it lack of burst? What, what's going on? Well, I, he's had a few runs called back because of penalties. I think that would have really helped that average. Um, and yeah, it's just, there's a couple calls where we, we had some bad calls and they had some really good calls on defense where we had some tackles for loss and things like that. So it's a combination. Uh, the one thing, I I know AJ's a good running back and I know what we have, so I'm going to be confident and just keep leaning on those guys and I know he'll come through and make the plays we need him to. Going back to the young receivers, what kind of education do they get in the way New Orleans really were up on them? You yeah, know, I mean, they were... Uh, yeah, no, and that's that's one thing, you know, when you when you play different styles of teams, you know, you get those aggressive DBs that are pressing you and, and challenging you, and I think that's good for them to to go out there and compete and get open uh, versus a pretty good group. So that was that was fun to watch. You mentioned obviously how the physical recovery on these short weeks is so important, but when, when you have a game where you had a bunch of penalties and other miscues and things, but got to play a game again you know, in a few days. Like, how do you guys address that as a coaching staff like, with the players? Or how do you try, how do you try to clean that stuff? Yeah, uh, I mean, you, you can't read too much into it as far as, you know, sometimes in practice you'll be going and you'll hit a period where all of a sudden you have like three or four penalties and you're like, what's going on, guys? You just got to regroup, you know what I mean? Stay calm, regroup, and focus. And, you know, it, 
we can execute. I know we can execute. It's just a matter of just doing what we're supposed to do, coming off on the right snap count, things like that, aligning right. Um, so, yeah, keeping it simple again, but just believing in your guys and believing in yourself. We talked last week about Jordan sliding. Were you, were you okay with him not sliding in that one? Was that one of those no, 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 yes yeah. moments? Or? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> uh, he caught me by surprise, too, because I was expecting him to run out of bounds, and he just kept rolling. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah. And then the one in the end zone, that was a phenomenal run by him, just making DeMario miss like that. That was a pretty cool play. Stan, you, you guys had some trouble with Hutchinson in that last game last mm -hmm. year when he went away from Dave. If Dave plays, if he doesn't, what, what do you guys got to do better with him? Yeah, we got to account for him. And they've been moving him around a lot. He's not only playing uh, over over the tackles, he, they've been moving him inside. So we're going to have a good protection plan for him, for sure. Getting back, getting back to the, the run game, I'm not sure much you've dove into Detroit, but they really shut down Atlanta's run game last or yesterday. Yeah. Um, what have you seen from, from their group in that regard? Uh, they play, they're very similar to New Orleans as far as their structure. Um, their linebackers are very aggressive, and I think they're very instinctual players. Uh, but their interior guys do a really good job um, just getting off blocks and things like that. They're very disruptive. So uh, that and a combination of, you know, they're always trying to have an extra hat in the box with the safety, 32. Um, they're a pretty aggressive bunch. They did a good job versus Atlanta. It's got to be the end of the game in the final series, and I sense you were in two minutes. And then I talked to some of the players after the game, and they said, we do that at the end of these practices, and we're tired every other day. And it's almost like flipping a switch. Mm -hmm. You don't have to think anymore. Yeah. Do you recognize that as that's your best package with this young group? Well. At, yeah, you keep repping that stuff because obviously in those crucial situations, you want them to feel comfortable doing that because when you're the most tired and it's the most important time, you know, that's when you have to be at your best. So um, it was it was fun to watch those guys go out there and execute like they did. Um, and that's that's why you do all those drills in practice for the entire OTAs and camp and everything like that. Stem I, oh, go, go ahead, Jess. You, you guys had the flea flicker last week. Then you had the fourth down play yesterday. Um, you had something in the first game too, a triple, didn't you like, wasn't it a double reverse or something? Like that? Yeah, the, 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 I got the option. Kill. Yeah. 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 Um, is, there a, <laughs> is there like a let's make some crazy stuff up meeting that you guys have every week? Is that in the play? Well, yeah, I mean, you're, always, you're always trying to have some stuff in case you need to generate a play and keep the defense on their toes. I think that's really important because um, they're going to be working on that stuff. and. It's potential big plays if you can get it executed. So did you, uh, if Emmanuel makes the throw, I know that's a big if, but if he does and your quarterback doesn't do the splits, then trying to field it. Yeah. I mean, Wicks was open, right? Yeah, yeah, we had a chance. So is there, obviously the most important thing is for it to be executed and work, mm -hmm. but is there, again, with a young team, like does stuff like that, does that resonate with these guys? Like, do they get excited about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like yeah they love it. They always, you know, they always so is there love a value play. in that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, they they get excited when they hear it in the huddle and hear the play call, and they're like, all right, it's time. Here we go. Uh, unfortunately, that one didn't work. Maybe one day we'll have another one. Let's see. Is there uh, any particular reason it was Emmanuel and not Patrick Taylor or A.J. Dillon making the top? Oh, we had all the backs ready. It was just he was in there for that play. Yeah. Yeah, I, know, I realized yesterday it was some circumstances because of the score, but Jordan's throwing the ball downfield a lot. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not bombs away all the time, but I mean, he's pushing the ball downfield. Is that is that because that fits Jordan's? I, I guess I'm curious why you've gone to that approach, which is, seems different than we've done you know, the last several years here. I think overall, from our wideouts, we have a little bit more speed than we've had in the past. Um, so I think all those guys have the ability to do those vertical routes and, and come down with the ball. Um, so I, I think it just fits. And then we're getting a lot of single high defenses, so they're kind of daring us to do it. So you got to push the ball down the field to see if you can make big plays. You guys said last week that secondary is physical. Mm -hmm. What was that battle like? And then finally get those two key PIs on one of those drives. Yep. How did you see that playing out? Well, yeah. I mean, Lattimore did a great job. Um, he, he, 
he did a great job on his side of the field, and you know we, we were trying to take advantage of the other side, and we were able to push the ball down the field and get that pass interference. That was a big play. Um, but yeah, it's just one thing we're going to always try and be aggressive, and uh, you know take what the defense gives us. Hey, uh, both Jordan and Matt referenced yesterday Romeo's strong hands, and obviously we saw it on the game-winning touchdown. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is there someone he's like in that way? Is that something that you have, like, how valuable of a skill? I, I guess I'm, I don't remember us talking a lot about guys with strong hands. Yeah, I, I mean, really jumped he's down. always, when he first showed up last year, that was one of the things you noticed about him is his, his catch radius, but also his ability to make those kind of catches and his strong hands. So I guess I've always just kind of taken it for granted. but. Yeah, we've always known he's he's been really special from that aspect for sure.